Hey everyone, it's Jenna from Click Report, and I'm super excited to share with you our new ADOS 2 scoring tool in Smart Template. All right, so this one has some awesome features, and I'm going to point those out to you guys and also give you some tips and tricks for working with this template. So I went ahead and put my name in and selected gender, and then I'm going to come down to our rating section. And you'll notice that this is formatted to match the coding section of your ADOS 2 scoring page. So that's going to all match up together. And then we're going to use this drop down box to make our rating selection. And you'll notice that some of these have your basic rating 0, 1, 2, 3. And then other ones have some more specifics within each rating. And this allows us to get very specific because what we put in here is going to populate over to our narrative. So in some sections, you're going to make a selection uh, that makes more sense for the kid. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I wanted to point out too, this template is different than any of the other ones that we've made so far because it has this option to add an additional comment. And especially if you are doing an evaluation for autism, your qualitative observations are very, very important. So this allows you to write in any types of comments that you need to for any individual section. It's completely optional. You can leave it out if you want to, but it is an option. All right, so for instance, if I made that selection, I might write something like, um, Jenna only said the words hi, bye, and no. And one tip I wanna point out is that you wanna put one space after any sentence that you put into this additional comment box. Um, the reasoning for this is because this is going to auto-populate in your narrative in the exact location that it should be in. So if you made the comment for overall level of non-echoed spoken language, you're going to get your sentence for that section, and then your additional comment is going to come right after that. So you want to write in complete sentences, and you want to put a space after that so that the space populates into the narrative as well. All right, another thing I want to point out, I'm going to go ahead and make some random selections here, is that your score conversion um, auto calculates for your comparison score. So this is going to be done for you and it's going to convert from whatever rating you put in there. And you'll also notice that for some of the additional comment boxes, they have multiple boxes for one section. And in these areas, you're going to want to make your comment for both the sections that it entails. Um, sometimes there's three. And this is because the way that it's written, your comments will come after whatever sentences auto-populate for your selections. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go through and make some selections. Another thing that I wanted to note that's pretty important is that you always want to make a selection for every box. So even if your score is zero, it's important to put the zero as your selection for rating because if you don't, then in your narrative, you'll have no sentence at all. And sometimes that zero rating is a very important sentence because you're saying, you know, that the student basically is able to uh, represent those skills. So you definitely w don't want to leave anything blank. All right, and I am almost done here. I'm going to finish making my selections. And you'll notice as we went through the whole time our um, comparison score our, our score conversion was happening for us. And you'll see that your social affect and your restricted repetitive behavior scores were also being auto-calculated for you. Um, so that's not something you'll have to do anymore. That'll end up saving you a ton of time. And you can copy this box if this is something that you like to add into your report as well. And then after we have our overall total and we've made all of our selections, we've put all of our comments in, you're gonna select the age of your examinee. And we'll just go ahead and say seven to eight. And you'll see that when you make that selection, your comparison score comes up that's calculated from your overall total. And your classification is also done for you. So you're not gonna have to go and reference those charts anymore and, and line up with the right box. All of that's completely done for you. And you can see too, if we were to select a different age, our score comparison score would be different because those are calculated differently. So just make sure you're looking and paying attention to the correct age and making the correct selection because that absolutely does change what your comparison score and possibly your classification will be.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and generate the narrative. And I'm going to paste this over to my report application. And we're just gonna kind of go through what the narrative has done. And I wanna point out specifically that section that we put in a comment. So let's go it was under language and communication. All right, so here it is. All right, so throughout this administration, Jenna communicated only single, using only single words. So that was the, um, that was the auto-populated sentence that came from our rating. And then you can see right after that is the additional comment that I made. Jenna only said the words hi, bye, and no. And then it goes on with the rest of the narrative. She spoke unusually fast when communicating and she echoed words and phrases regularly. So you can see kind of how that process works with inputting the additional comments, um, which I think people will really love and I'm super excited to get everybody's feedback on that. And then besides that, um, the comparisons or um, the range is also going to be placed correctly into your narrative. So this will say Jenna's overall score on this administration of the ADOS 2 fell within the autism spectrum range. And then the only other thing, hyperactivity and our observations for testing, um, though they were at the bottom of the chart, they're going to be kind of at the top of your narrative um, because when you're reporting this to parents, this makes the most sense. You know, this is kind of what you were seeing of the child. So that's just something to keep in mind um, when you're looking at your narrative. We followed the coding on the ADOS, but we wrote it in a parent-friendly manner. So the, the writing of it might not match up exactly with that table. All right, so this has been my tutorial of the ADOS 2 scoring tool and smart template. I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, give us your feedback. Have a great day. Bye.